What's up, YouTube world? Say hello to the Manba One. This is the latest gaming controller that just hit the market, and I like it so far. As a matter of fact, I didn't even know this controller existed. I was just looking through Amazon, and I saw it. I said, I just got to give it a try. And this is a beautiful controller, and it comes in two colors. This one right here that you're looking at, they say it's white, and the other color is black. And it comes with a very affordable price too, $69.99. And what I love about this controller is just the simplicity of the design, especially this one right here is the best looking one, the white. And I'm actually right here is a, right a face plate and it's clear and it, you can pop it off easy and it's magnetic. So there's a few things, I there's a lot I love about this controller and there's a few things I don't like about this controller. But let me just go over some things that you need to know about this controller real quick. If you're gonna buy this controller, you can use it for the Nintendo Switch, and it got a six-axis gyroscope, so you can play your favorite game on the Nintendo Switch and do your gyroscoping thing. You can use it on the PC, iOS, like your iPad or your Mac, whatever it is. You can use it on any Android device and the Steam Deck. This this comes with a beautiful dock, as you can see right here. It's a nice dock. And underneath it right here comes with a dongle right here. So this is what I'm going to explain to you real quick. For PC use and maybe Steam, because I don't have a Steam Deck anymore, you're going to need this dongle to use on your PC or your, or your Steam Deck, I would, I would assume, and you on your other handhelds like your Legion Go and your RG Ally, which I'm going to show you. You can use this or you could use something else. But let me just get into some of the things that I don't like about it first. One thing I don't like about this controller, you 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 it doesn't you don't have the access to use Bluetooth on either device, which is kind of weird. You can connect it to your PC via Bluetooth, but it's going to show as Pro Controller, and you can't and you and, and your device and your PC when you try to play your favorite games will not recognize it. That's the only thing I dislike. So in order to play games on your on your on your Windows PC gaming handhelds. You're going to need a dongle or you're going to need the cord that it comes with. Yes, it comes with a USB type A to C cord, which I'm going to demonstrate in a moment. But this is not the, this is not the only thing about it. This control of, of the weight on this is, is fantastic. It got a nice heavy weight to it and it feels so premium. This is by far to me one of the best budget controller there is and it's the weight is just fantastic. It is very comfortable in your hand. I got decent sized hands as you see, and it feels so good. The way it's contoured to your hands, you're not gonna feel any fatigue after long gameplay. This is a fantastic controller. And it comes with a USB type C port right here, where you can use to charge your controller. And they got the logo right here, the Manba. And I believe their logo, it looks like a fox or a wolf, but we're gonna get to do that in a second. The back of the controller right here got these um, triggers. So you can um, long press, long press for the triggers, and the short press. So you so you play a favorite driving game or shooting game. This will be the ideal thing for you. And these these thumbsticks are are exchangeable, and it comes with two thumbsticks in the package as well. In case you forget to mention that, and you got the nice four programmable buttons back here. You got the one, the M1, N2, N3, N4, and these are the pings that you're gonna connect to the dock. You got the on and off button right here. Fantastic controller. So without further ado, just want to show some more. You got this, the typical Microsoft Xbox layout, A, B, X, Y. And look how, look how thick the buttons are. Look how, look how thick it is. I love this so much. So when you're playing, you're going to be comfortable. It's not like the other gaming controller where it's flush flat. You got a nice like, resistivity to it. So you got a nice click. These are HAL, HAL effect um, joysticks. And they're so fantastic, they feel so good, especially in gameplay. Fantastic D-pad, very firm. The, tr the shoulder, the trigger buttons are very clicky. And you got these little ridges, ridges on top for, com for comfort. And also for the shoulder, no, I mean these are the shoulders. Yeah, keep mixing them up. Shoulder and the trigger buttons, the same thing, fantastic. And right here on the bottom, you can see these silver buttons. This one right here is a back. And this one is a select, some option button, Oh, this one right here, the square button, is a capture button. This button right here is a home button. This button right here is a start. And the back and the back button, that's the back, you got the minus. 
sign and the start button have a plus sign. So without further ado, let me turn on this beautiful controller right here. Look at it, look at the lights with the Mamba lights on, nice RGB, see the Mamba sign in, and it's searching for the controller. Yes, this is a beautiful controller, man. This is beautiful. Let's see, so PC right here. Let me just go into some settings real quick before I show you some connections. So here, let's just zoom in a little bit for you guys to see. Look how beautiful that dog gun control is. Dog gun, it is so beautiful. And I like the fact that you got the rumbles right here. Got a rumble. And when you're playing a favorite game, you can you can have the joy to see this little thing spin. This is a, this is beautiful. All right, let's just get into the meat of the matter. This controller is going to show you right off the jump. You got three seconds to hold on to settings to go hold on to the home button for three seconds to go to settings. And boom, this is where all the magic happened. Like I said, you don't need no software to do nothing. It's just simple plug and play. And the screen right here is to me is is, is more clear. And it's this I think I would call this the the Turtle Beach Stealth Killer right here. For $69 compared to $20, you get all the features and some without those bugging software. So if you want to pair your device, just going to pair, going to hit the start button, and it's going to be pairing. If you when you when you go connect to your favorite device like your like your switch, your uh, your PC and other things. So let me get out of here real quick. Let me go back to the home button. Hold on to it for three seconds, and then that's great. Now we're going to go into the the, the mode. But before going to the mode, let's go into the right here screen and LED. In right here in the screen and LED, that's where you have access to can turn up the brightness, turn it down. And turn it up and you can use it you can use either the d-pad or the thumbstick thumbstick and right here you will have the led color you can select any color you want as you can see it's very it's very responsive and i like this x i like the ones where will, i like the site i like the cycle feature and it's very it's beautiful it's it's just right it's not bright it's not overwhelming the colors are very accurate and it's so it's, it's awesome look at this screen this screen is sharp man the, the black is black, the red is red. It's almost like an OLED screen. I, and even, correction, early in the video I said it was an LCD, this is an LED screen. But the, the darks and colors look so rich, almost like an OLED. Darn it. And this right here in the options, you can also change different things. You can um, go into keep lights on, just like this by itself. Or you can go to breathing, where do its um, breathing cycle. Or you can turn it off, whichever you choose. I like the breathing. So I'm just going to hit the back button to come back out of here. And let's go into language. In the right here in the language screen, you can see you got three languages. I guess one of these are Chinese. Maybe that one is Korean. I don't know. You got English. And as a matter of fact, yeah, it tells you CN or whatever that is right here. I don't know if it's Korean, but you got three languages. So pick whatever you, your, what, which, whichever language you speak, you select. I wish they would give you more option with, with, with more languages. So, Manba, if you're hearing me, give next time you come up with a new controller, because this is fantastic all by itself. Give us more options for languages. I know the I know the viewers will like that. And also give us the option where you can we can pair this controller on your on your PC devices without needing a dongle. For you guys, I'm gonna get into that in a second. So let's get out of here real quick. So right here you go into the mode. And this is the mode that you're going to go into. When you turn on your device, like your Switch, your iOS, your Android, and you put it in period mode, that's all you need to do. Go in here, select, select the one that you're going to use, hit it, and then that's it. Then, and then you go back here. Once you select the mode, once you select the mode, it's going to automatically go out. Then you're going to you didn't go here to pair and hit and pair it. And it's going to tell right here the Bluetooth, that's going to be for the dongle. And the PC, I will select switch, you're going to say switch, or iOS, you're going to say iOS, whichever it is. The only time you're going to need a dongle is when you're using it for PC. And you don't even have to use the dongle as well. I'm going to show you in a minute, so stay, so stay hang in there with me. Let's hold on to the home button for three seconds again to get out of here. And you got some awesome features right here in settings. Let's go into settings. You got default. The default is going to stay, keep the controller as it comes out of the box. The same functions of the A, B, X, Y, all the trigger buttons, the, um, the, the, the back buttons right here. You can configure to your liking. 
and you got three settings. You can con you can set the controller into whatever settings you want. Unlike the Turtle Beach, where you have to go, you have to do software update, download this, download that. You don't need all of that. Everything's right here, and it's so up to date. So you can go, you can select the control. You can have three settings. You can modify the controller any way you want. So I'm going to settings one right here. You see buttons. You hit the start button. And right here, you got the buttons right here. The A, B, X, Y, and all the buttons right here. I can, you can use them for single. And right here, as I say, for the M1 to M4, is multiple. For A, B, X, Y, L, B, L, T, R, B, R, T, those are for single. So let's go ahead and select the A, for example. I'm going to hit this A. And right here, you got the A right here. So it depends what whatever games you're playing or whatever you're into, you can you can make the A B uh you, you can use the A to, for an up button, a down button, left, right, L B, R B, whatever buttons you want, your you can modify to whatever you want. This is the mapping section that I like. In the mapping section, you can you can make any button be what you want it to be. And then if you want, just use the joystick to come down, you can turn on the open turbo feature. Up to turn off the, the turbo feature. And then when you're done, you're going to hit the start button, yes, to, sa to save it. Now, going into the trigger buttons in the back, let's go with M1. For example, let's go with M1. So M1, you can make M1 whatever you want. You can, you can select multiple, see? You can make M1, M1 be up, down, left, right. Or, let's see, you can go back, because I never messed with this before. This is crazy. Quit without saving. It's so much features. So let's try something with M2. Say I want to play Street Fighter. I want to like down. See, see the feature right here. It's Street Fighter. You know, down forward to do the the to do shower whatever it is. I don't remember the name called for Street Fighter. You can make the M buttons make be whatever you want, and um, you can you can even probably make it do like a three sixty. See, L T L T whatever, or make it be a, make it be like a three sixty. So you, so if you use the Zen GIF, you can press it. This is mad functional, man. This is this is. This is what the old the 30-bit ultra should have been. Multiple functions with the back buttons. This is nice. This is nice. So I'm just gonna quit. Yeah. Because I'm not saving nothing. So this is for the button section. This is this is awesome. You're gonna need this controller. This controller is bad. The only thing again I said I wish you could just connect to your PC or your or any P, um, PC and held gaming console and just go, but you need a dongle. And this is where the fun begins. So let me get out of here. Let me grab first thing first my, my ASUS RG Ally. Right. So I got several things right here for it. And this is a dongle that comes with this con comes with the controller. This is the dongle right here, Bluetooth dongle. And these things right here are mine. You can buy whatever you want. As long as you got the USB Type C to an A connection, you're good. So let's go ahead and turn on the go ahead and turn on the the ASUS RG Ally. And in the meantime, let me go ahead and turn on my my ASUS RG Strike M16 gaming laptop. I just got to clear the area real quick. All right. Turn these two beauties on. Show you show you two ways you can connect your devices. Controller to your devices. Turn this bad boy on. Boom. Make sure everything is on. Bam, bam, bam. All right, so I'm just gonna get out of these things real quick. All right, let me back up some so you guys can see. Need to back up some. Yeah, am I doing it right? I guess I'm not doing it right, but anyhow. So I've got my, my, my devices right here up and running. So let me, come out, let me get out of here. So what I'm going to do on this PC, my ASUS RG Strike M16, I'm going to select a Windows game. I'm going to select Forza Horizon 5. And on this, I'm going to select God of War. All right. So like I said earlier, you got a USB Type-C to Type-A to C that comes with your controller. And what you can, what you can simply do is this. Can simply connect the USB Type A to to the computer and connect the Type C to the controller. Or if you have a USB Type C to USB Type C cable, you can connect the USB Type C cable to the controller, USB Type C cable to your T 
to your Lee Jungle or RG Ally or even a computer, which I'm going to show you guys real quick. All right. God of War is up and ready. So what I'm going to do, connect my USB Type-C cable inside the controller like this, and then I'm going to connect it to, boom, to my Asus RG Ally. I see, it's all functioning already. I'm going to start the game. So what I'm going to do right now, in the meantime, connect this dongle that I have. I can use either one. Put it either one. I'm just going to use this one for the heck of it. I'm going to connect it to the Type C section of my laptop right here. So it, could, so it doesn't matter what Type C. It could be Thunderbolt 4 or just a regular Type C port. It doesn't matter. Just connect any dongle in. All right, which I did. Now, I'm going to connect the, the Bluetooth dongle that comes with the controller. Boom. So let's go back right here to my ROG Ally. Gameplay. And it's very, very accurate. And it's very fast. With the Hall, with the Hall Effect controller, it's a breeze. It, oh my, this is the best feeling Hall controller thumbsticks ever is perfect oh my goodness this is great so let me just disconnect this real quick and then let me go over here to the asus rg ally i mean um the m16 I'm ready to go i can do whatever i want right away boom or i can just simply switch switch them out so i'm going to connect this key, type c right here to another type c port on this control on this laptop I thought I had two of them things. Oh yeah, I got another one right here at the side. Another type C. Boom. And then I'm gonna connect my dongle onto I'm gonna use a different dongle. This is another dongle right here. I'm gonna to connect to my ROG Ally. And um and uh what's this right here? Yes, connect it. Boom. Right, I connect that to my Asus RG Ally. Now let's see instant gameplay. I think I think I don't think I did it right. Give me a second here. Uh -huh. I think I did something wrong. Okay. What I should have done in order to pair it back, I should have turned it off, turn off the controller, and then it will be back to normal. So let's just try to do this one more time. All right, let's get this out of here. So if you're going to do the multiple switching like I showed you to, you got to make sure that you turn the controller off because it's going to, because it's going to, it's going to get confused. So just turn it back on. Turn it back on. Are oh, you good to go? That's what it is. So if you're going to switch, um, if you're going to, if you're going to switch dongle from device to device, just got to make sure that you turn it off first and then wait for a few seconds and it will appear itself back and then boom you're good to go so that's you can switch to multiple devices and let me just plug it back my usb type c in here again to show you man this thing is just a this is this thing is just a beast of a piece of a controller this is what controller should have been this is what the old that's this this is what the the beat ultra should have been but didn't so so right here, as you can see, again, I got my um, I got my game running right here on my PC. I'm gonna get running right here on the PC. With no, with no issue. And if I'm tired, boom. Wait for it to connect to the uh, my, my 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 country my um RG Ally right here, and I'm ready to ball again. This is a beast, man. This is a beast. Yo, go on Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description. And check out this controller. I think this is one of the best controller that came out by far for the price. $69.99 and you can do so much and more. This is what the Turtle Beach Ultra should have been. The best controller by far. The Manba One. Check it out. All right. This is the boy right here. Subscribe, like, and share. And I'll definitely see you in the next video. I'm out. Let me go let me go get my game on.